What is going on my fellow Remnant 2 gaming community? It is D Werewolf Gaming back with another Remnant 2 video. I hope all is going well with everyone and you're staying safe. Today guys I want to bring you an amazing build that is very fun to play and if you're new to this particular game guys you will definitely enjoy pairing the Gunslinger with the Invoker class. The Invoker class for those who don't know gives you uh, double skill charges and reduces skill cool cooldown as well. Just great for pairing it with any archetype in this game. With that being said, I do want to give a big thank you for everyone that continues to support me in the channel and especially those who always give me a thumbs up if you like the content and take time to have something positive to say. At the end of the day, guys, I don't mind the constructive feedback if it's, if it's really legit constructive feedback, but on this channel, it's all about that positivity and from time to time, I do have those negative people who do come to the channel and say silly things that doesn't make any sense, guys, but at the end of the day, this channel is not about that and we're not going to entertain that. With that being said, guys, if you like my content, please remember to turn on that notification bell so that way you can know whenever I do drop a video. All right, guys, so as soon as we get finished killing this boss right here, we are going to go over the build breakdown for those who, who may have never seen this particular type of build. All right, so that's pretty much it. And like I said, guys, with this build, the Invoker was the primary class and the Gunslinger secondary, but it basically you double base skill charges for all architects and Upon activating the skill, it reduces your skill cooldown by 10%. And I did use the quick draw skill, guys. Basically, what it is, if you hold it and release, you will do one big shot that does a lot of damage. Single powerful shot. But if you do uh, manually aim it, it will target up to six individuals, all registering as critical hits. And since you are using Invoker, you get that double skill. So you get up to four charges using the Gunslinger uh, quick draw perk. Just amazing, guys. All right, your armor did not matter where, whichever armor you prefer. And I did go with the Trinkle Heart Relic for the passive health regen and doubles all health regeneration upon use. I did have 15% weak spot damage, 15% range crit, and 7.5 critical hit chance. All right, Coach Gun, guys, just so I can get a little bit more damage in. It is a double barrel sh shotgun. I did use the Creeping Mist. And basically, enemies within it receive 25% additional status effect and are more likely to receive 5% more critical ch critical hit chance from any source. I did use the extender mutator to increase the magazine capacity and increase reload speed by 20% at level 10. Just great for being able to dish out amazing damage. All right, your melee weapon didn't matter. I did use the curl axe to be able to apply shock and I had it with the paired it with the tainted blade to be able to apply some corrosive as well. And I also used the spectral blade uh, melee weapon as well to be able to apply shock as well. Just two great melee weapons. Use whichever you prefer. All right, guys. Then the nebula is a staple in any build. You release uh, you release these nano machines that attack enemies, applying corrosive and acid, and allow you to do 10% more damage. The burden of the rebel reduces skill cooldown by 15%, but it does. It uh, increased the amount of time it takes to use a relic. I did use probability core to increase critical damage by 20%. And, you know, I do like to change my rings. Some other rings I do that I would recommend is the Burden of the Gamble. On those enemies that you are fighting without a weak spot, guys, or easy to see weak spot, this ring is was a great, great in this build as well. And the Crimson Dreamstone, you critical hits increase skill damage by 2% for 5 seconds. Get up to 10 stacks. Get up, so you can get a 20% increase in skill damage using the Crimson Dreamstone. All right, the Catalog's Jewel to automatically generate 10 mod power per, per second. So you can get your mods back pretty quickly. And on the, I did also use the Corrosive Round when I was fighting uh, the Mother Mind guys. To, and then best that the ammunition with acid and range crit chances decreased by 15% whenever you do use this. All right, for the Amulet, the Zero Divide Amulet worked great. You get infinite ammo and increasing range damage by 15%. But I also really recommend the Index Subscribe because it increases mod and skill weak spot damage by 35%. All right, Gifted comes automatically, 10 points in that. 10 points in uh, Ammo Reserve, it comes automatically on the Gunslinger class. 10 points in Triage. I did have 10 points in Regrowth to get some health regen. I did have 10 points in Affliction and allow those status effects to last longer. I had 4 points in Fortify. 10 points in Spirit, get your mods back faster. 10 points in Expertise, 
so that way you can get your skills back faster. Did have 10 points in Hamlin too to spread that AOE whenever I was using that canister. And I did have 10 points in Hamlin since I was using the shotgun. I have right at five points in Vigor to increase my max health. Five points in Shakar a lot of mods to last a little bit longer. Four points in Bart Skin to reduce damage by 4%. And I did have two points in Footwork as well to improve aiming and movement speed while I shoot. All right, guys, and I did use the Xenoplast to reduce skill cooldown by 10%. Overall, if you like the build, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your value time. As always, D-Werewolf out. All right.